What is up guys, this is Mortz here from Section Store once again. And today we will be having a look at this product hotspot section right here. If you hover over those little dots, you can see a product right here. And I'm gonna show you in this tutorial how you can save yourself a lot of time, money and not needing to hire a developer or someone else to code that one for you because it's gonna be fully customizable. And let's say we just jump right into it. First thing I did for that, was headed on over to the Shopify app store where I got the section store app. It's a non-subscription app. You can get it completely for free in the Shopify app store. Then I headed on over to the main area of the app where you can find a collection of all the sections which are included into this app. But of course you have to download them first. It does come with a couple of premium sections like the hotspot free, but it's only a little charge of $9. And if you own it once, you own it forever and you not need to like pay a subscription fee or whatsoever and you can customize it to your likings as well and I'm going to show you how you can do that in the next step of course I already got this one otherwise I wouldn't be able to show it you in the tutorial and then you have to head back to the my sections area of the app where you have to add it to the theme you're using in my case it is the dawn light theme and I've already done so as well and then simply just open up the theme editor of your choice right here also the dawn live theme where you also installed the section for and then head back to that theme editor that's the one you saw in the beginning of the video we're gonna start completely from scratch so I'm just gonna hide this one let me just do that scroll all the way down type in hotspot free that's as easy as you can add the sections, I want to have it all the way at the top. So it's a nice spot to display that one. Let's save it up real quick. And the first thing I want to do, of course, is add those two pictures. And I'll do that by clicking on the main block itself right here. We could also add a heading. I'm just going to do this. This is the product hotspot tutorial. And it's gonna appear right here. I don't want a custom font for that one. I think the size is looking good, but we could change that one as well. We can change the gap between the two little blocks here as well, and a bunch of other things we could do. So we could add a little shadow to those things. Maybe I'll do that. First image I wanna put in there is gonna be that one. So I'll just chug it right in there. And the second image I want to add is going to be a similar rock it's going to be that one same one i used in the uh, display of the first section at the beginning of the video the ratio is going to be square you could change that one as well you can add a little image radius so it's going to get a bit rounded here i think that is looking nice we can add some horizontal padding to the block as well and some other stuff we can customize too but I'm gonna leave it super simple. And yeah, here we can change the title size. That's gonna make sense in a second when we actually add a product to the whole thing. And the last thing I would like to do is just change a few of the colors. So we're gonna have a nice looking product review. So I wanna have an orange. The price background is gonna be orange as well and that can stay white. And let that little arrow I would like to have in orange as well and the icon color in white. It will all make sense in a second. And here I wanna have the orange as well. So that is looking nice. As you can see here, you can pretty much customize all the colors in that section. And yeah, let's start with the first product. The one I'm gonna pick here is gonna be that one. So here you can change the position of the little dot you're seeing right here. I think it looks quite good, but I wanna have it a little bit more on the left side. I will display you as well how it's looking on mobile. So it's gonna be like that. And here you can change the mobile position as well. So we want to drag it a bit more to the left here too. That is looking nice. And now we're going back to the desktop view. And now I want to select the product, of course. I do not have this specific product because it's just a test store I'm using right here. So I just chug in a random product. But of course, you can put one of your own products. Of course, one of the pictures you also put there. And you can also add another picture inside the block. So I'm gonna show you how that is going to look like. So here you can see it. That is gonna be that one. And right now, if we make it full screen, we can see it all the way here. And here, one thing I'm seeing is that the arrow is not getting displayed because it's a white background. I'm just gonna save it up and change that real quick. So we will go back to that view. And yeah, here it is added already. I'm just gonna put a little text here as well, orange rock 
Sora edition and it's gonna appear right here. I can also just remove that right arrow and it's only going to be the product and maybe I wanna have it a bit more to the top actually. I will put it right here. So we do have space for that. Maybe I wanna have it on the left side or the right side. Yeah, that's nice. Like that we can see the whole thing. I'm just gonna save it up. The same applies to this one as well. I'm not gonna do this one in this tutorial because I think you understood the concept of it, but it's pretty much the same. I'm just gonna save this one up because we started completely new. And here we can see the product. You can click directly on it. It's not gonna be the one which is displayed in the photo, but I think you get the concept. Just link it to the product you actually wanna show. Like I said, it's just a test store I'm using. But yeah, that pretty much brings us to the end of this tutorial. I showed you all the technical components of this section and I hope you guys found it useful. And if you did, always feel free to leave a like, follow, and maybe your own suggestion about a section we should build in the future. And with that being said, have a good one guys and peace out.